Welcome back one and all, my name is Ultimar and we are going to be continuing our let's play of Neverwinter Nights Hordes of the Underdark where we left off last time we had just arrived in the Temple of Loth in the Drow City of something, I can't remember the name of it, I'm sure it has a name, nope doesn't say, we're in a city, I'm sure it'll tell me as soon as I leave this place, but we're going to talk to some people first, we're going to talk to Valen Shadow Breath, which sounds like somebody who has terrible morning breath, and Nithira. Greetings. The drow regards you with a curious expression. As you approach her, a pale brow arched. So now you know everything. The Valshares, who we are, why we're here, all of it. What we're doing here is very important. And it sounds like it'll be quite the adventure. I can't wait. You think it'll be fun, do you? Yes, I do. Doesn't the fact that the Valshares wants you dead worry you in the slightest? If the last attack she sent is an indication of her power, not really. Nithira studies you closely and after a long moment finally shrugs, Well, you have confidence, I'll grant you that. Let's hope it serves you well. Is there something else you need from me? Tell me about the Valshares and her allies. Many of those who support the Valshares, like the Elithid and Beholders, dwell in the caverns to the west of the village. The western caverns are also the likely source of the, her, under, her undead horde. We may be able to remove these allies from her cause. I know something about each of these groups, so don't be afraid to ask me for information if you need it. Tell me about the Illithids, aka Mind Flayers. The creatures you oh, there we go. The creatures you call Mind Flayers are a race of telepaths capable of reading thoughts and controlling minds. They are known for keeping a horde of dominated thralls as servants and guards. These creatures are ruled by entities known as Overminds. The Valshares has many Illithids in her army, so it's likely she has recruited the aid of several Overminds. To the west of here is Zorvakmur, a small illithid colony. If we can find the Zorvakmur Overmind, it could be persuaded to convince the other Overminds to withdraw the illithid support from the Valshares. How does one fight against such creatures? She shrugs. I've never had to, truth be told. I assume they fall to the blade like any other creature. Their bodies seem weak, in fact. It is their mental powers you must be aware of, and yes we do, because they are really brutal with their dominations and stuff. I believe... Imalth has more experience in combating their like. Ask him if you truly want some advice on tactics. I've got more questions. Tell me about the Undead Horde. That isn't entirely clear. We've heard rumors of a cult of necromancers nearby that is supplying the Valshares with these undead, though where they get their parts from is unknown. We believe the cult is located to the west of here, though where precisely we couldn't say. But if we find them, we can destroy the source of the undead. And find it. Well, find it and destroy the source of the undead. Whatever. Um, Beholders. I do not think the Valshares commands many of these Beholders, though many are not needed. Each of them carries the ability to fire magical rays from its eye stalks, which have varying effects. Which reminds me of a movie I watched when I was a kid called Dungeons and Dragons, actually. And it had a Beholder in it, and it was an awful movie. <laughs> it was so bad. Um, it was a guilty pleasure when I, when I was a kid, though. All of them come from a single hive located somewhere to the west of here. If we destroy the Eye Tyrant ruling over them, the colony will collapse, and the Valshares will lose their support. Thanks, that's all I need to know. Uh, I should go. Nathira's eyes follow you, calculating. She merely nods and watches you go. I don't need your help. The Seer believes you are the prophetical savior, our only hope of defeating the Valshares. I, however, do not believe in prophecies. Good, that's fine. Still... You are obviously capable in your own right, and we need all the help we can get if we're to win this war. So I'm willing to take a chance. What if I don't want to prove myself to you? Valen shrugs, not taking his intense eyes off of you. From what I understand, you don't have a choice. Halaster put a geas on you. Either you find a way to stop Val the Valshares, or you die. Actually, I hope this year is right about you. If you prove to be the agent of the Valshares' destruction, all the better. But I won't bow down to you just because the seer had a dream. You said you could help me against the Valshares. Recently I've heard some tales of some strange islands nearby. Based on the legends, there may be something on these islands that could help us against the Valshares. Tell me. They say there is an island inhabited by powerful golems. These would be particularly useful against the Valshares and her army. I've also heard of a strange settlement that appeared overnight on a previously deserted isle. That sounds like the work of a powerful artifact. One we might be able to make use of ourselves. Of course... But I've heard of religious really rumors from those who have traveled the river. I'd guess Cavallus, the bowman, probably knows more. Okay, I'll be going now. Is there a store here? Do you do you have I a trust shop? All goes well. Have you any news to report? I'll take the healing. 
Why don't you have a store like the other I healer had? Goes... Got some questions. Do you have anything? <laughs> That's a good question, actually. But I'm going to quick save before saying it. Very well, I will answer any questions I can. Hopefully my knowledge can help find some way to weaken the Velshares. You're all drow. What's to stop me from killing all of you right now? The seer frowns and her eyes flash darkly. Common sense, I would hope. At the very least, we both possess a common foe in the Velshares, and that, if nothing else, should stay your blade. And if not that, how about the fact that you are surrounded by an army of drow, an army that can be turned against an intruder in the blink of an eye? Suddenly she sighs and relaxes, but my intent is not to threaten you. We must work together. I should go. I mean, it's worth a question, right? Lithmyathar is the city. So we are in a drow city. It's a nice looking little place. There's a merchant. Perfect. Let's go see what we can buy. The Valshares has cut off our trade routes and supply lines. There's no hope for us now. Well, you're a terrible merchant. Public house? Is there a storehouse? Mavir, public house. Armory and forge, that's where we're headed. Alright, turn that way. Ah, uh, stop that. Wait, there's crafting? Yes. Oh yeah, well, there's crafting in this game. We're not gonna... What is going on here? You guys do what you gotta do. I'm busy. I greet you. Please speak with Master him. Well. I just want you. Oh, never mind. Hang on. He said some interesting things. Where is my? Oh, there we go. I was like, where is my screen? What's going on here? Um. So this draw smith looks up from his forge. His face streaked with sweat and soot. You're that surfacer this year has been waiting for, aren't you? I wondered how long until you wandered over my way. My name's Rizzlevere, Master Craftsman and Master and Weaponsmith Extraordinaire, and you're one of or, and you're Eltamar, right? Pleased to meet you. If there's anything you need, I'm here to help. Feel free to look over my inventory, or if you want, I can upgrade your weapon for you. Well, first off, let's see what he has, and then we'll check the upgrades as well. It's a brawler's belt. Oh, all right. Uh, gloves with balanced hands, ambidexterity, and two weapon fighting would be good if we actually use weapons. Hidden Fist plus 7 is actually kind of nice. Gauntz of Ogre Power are kind of worthless. So the plus 7 gloves are quite good. Except, except, ours are plus 5 and they do so much. Just so much stuff that I just can't... I mean, yes, the, the 7 ones get plus 7 to attack modifiers, so we get 2 attack bonus and it's 1d8 Sonic versus 2d6 other stuff. F or fire and ice. Snatcher's ring of strength. Straight up strength plus three. What was this one again? We might swap these out, but for a while we're going to use this ring. Plus three strength. That's awesome. We're now at 17 strength. We get an extra damage and everything. I wasn't quite well done looking, met. though. Um, you have no magical items other than that? Okay. The Ale Gardens, no merchants. High Wizard Gulries. Greetings. This drow is an obviously mage of great power. He stares at you intently as if trying to read your very thoughts. After several uncomfortable seconds, he finally speaks. You are the one the seer foretold, are you not? Normally I don't put much faith in her visions, but you seem capable for a surfacer. I am Gulries, High Wizard of House Mavir. I have a large inventory of magical supplies you might find useful in your efforts to defeat the Valshares. Given the pr circumstances, my price are, prices are quite reasonable. They will never give us free stuff, so there's no point in asking. What are boots of strike? Five constitution. I could get six constitution. It's a master's adventurer's robe. Oh, damage reduction soak. It's pretty good. Uh, cloaks. In terms of cloaks, I think our cloak is actually kind of crappy. If we bought this cloak of fortification plus five plus five, it would definitely knock off our ring. Actually, it would possibly negate this ring entirely. And it's also ridiculously expensive. More money than we currently have, actually. Maybe. Maybe not after we sell some junk. Because we have a full inventory full of garbage. Like, just tons of stuff. What are our boots again? Oh, boots of haste, right? So plus four dodge, plus two dexterity is awesome. Do we have anything else that gives us haste, actually? If we do, 
we can try something different. Because that would give us a whole bunch of armor, actually. We need the haste, though. Haste is vital. It's absolutely 100% vital. Honor and death. It's actually a really cool weapon. It's worth 10 grand, which I think is the maximum they'll buy things for here. We don't really need them anyways. What were these again? Alright. They're garbage. Let's sell them. Belt of Agility? No, Improved Critical is way better. Right. Nope. Let's get rid of that. What's this? Robo Vecna. Gone. It's a damn nice robe though. Like, if you're a sorcerer, I think it is? Or mage. Sorcerer or mage. Plus one armor, spell resistance 10. Spell focus and everything. Which is pretty cool. Go on. Mithril shield. Just a freedom of movement. Wow, well, cool. Gone. Boots of striding plus three. Gone. Scarab of protection plus four. We have the parry up of wisdom. Which I think we're going to keep. Although, we could probably use this for our level drain problems eventually. But we'll take a look at that later. Staff of Command, gone. Oops. And we have three sets of unidentified armor. Chainmail of Speed has haste, but obviously we're not going to be wearing Chainmail because that would be stupid. That would be incredibly stupid. Armor plus three freedom, also gone. And Red Dragon armor is so cool. It's uh, straight out of Baldur's Gate, actually. So plus five plate armor, full plate armor, with 20 fire resistance, and it's lighter. It's basically exactly like it is in the other game. It's a big, greater battle robe. Oh. It's not very good for us. Despite the fact that it looks like a monk belt. Let's go back over here for just one second. We will be starting the actual adventure adventure part soon, but I want to see if there's anything else that will grant us haste. It's not looking good though. In fact, it's really not looking good. Alright. Uh, we'll check back here one more time. Greetings. Man. I almost kind of wish we had kept the uh, haste robe we had earlier. Did they beat that follower of the other goddess to death? I don't really want to go to the bar yet. Do you sell things? You. No. How about you? I greet you? A lot of people seem to think we should have just fallen the Valshares and called it a day. I do not accept that proposition. Alright, let's go talk to the barmaster, I guess. Yeah? It appears these drow are having some kind of drinking contest with this Zvernevlim servant. The Zverf looks like he isn't enjoying it. Please, no more, no more. Go on, Zerf, don't drink up. I want that record. Woo, look at him go. This for Nevlin looks up with you, tormented eyes. Please, no more. I can't take any more, please. What's going on here? The drow turns to face you, obviously annoyed at the interruption. Can't you see we're busy here? My Zerf only needs four more ales to break the camp record for the most drinks in one day. He'll never make it. The Zerf that set the record was twice this run side, and he almost died the next day from alcohol poisoning. Come on, Zerf, drink up. I want to see a new record. Let's go, Zverf, down the hatch, unless you want to become target dummy for the archers. Oh, <coughs> no. Your Zverf's not looking too good. I don't think he's going to make it. Huh. He's dead. Still three dings shy. I told you he'd never break the record. Well, you were right. Guess I owe you a gold piece. One gold piece. That's what the uh, Zverneblin's life is worth down here. So, yeah. Drow society. And we egged him on. We're like, come on, you can do it. Don't be a wuss. Doors barred from the other side. Very cool looking buildings in here though. I really like them. I think they're really neat. Uh, what was this place? Public house. Let's go inside. It's public. Let's go take a look around. 
We're not going to talk to anybody that doesn't have a name. There we go. Zezbir, Mavir. This female drow appears younger than many of the others in the camp, though it's obvious from her bearing that she is a person of importance. So you are the Rivil. The seer has put her faith in Eltamar, isn't it? My name is Zesir, only daughter and sole surviving heir to Matron Myrun of House Mavir. I was hoping you would come to see me. Eltamar, I have an offer for you, but it would draw too much attention if I had sought you out. But since you've stumbled over to me, tell me, what's the offer? House of Mavir, my house, has fallen on hard times. Matron Maroon, my mother, has brought us to the very brink of destruction. Many believe it is time for a change. Many believe I should rule. Of course, my mother is no fool. She understands the danger I represent, which is why she exiled me from the tower where she now dwells. She thinks she's safe inside the high walls, but she underestimated me. I have more support than she knows, and all I need to complete my coup is an assassin powerful enough to kill her and her bodyguards. What's in this for me? There are y the usual compensations, of course, gold or magic items, but helping me is also in your best interests, and the interests of the seer. I know my mother. She doesn't believe we can beat the Valshress, and she's afraid. Do you really believe she'll fight by the seer's side when the Valshress attacks? Mitra Maroon will betray your seer the first chance she gets. I, however, actually believe we can defeat the Valshress, and I won't turn on my allies at the first sign of trouble. What do I gotta do? The plan is simple enough. I'll give you my signet ring, take it to the guards outside my mother's tower to the north. They've already sworn allegiance to me. Show them the ring that'll let you into the tower while they summon them, my mother and their guard, Tibamar. When they arrive, kill them. If you do this, I'll see you're amply rewarded. 20,000 gold, not to mention the knowledge that House Mavir will stand with you when the Valshress comes. Okay, got it covered. The drow smiles, and you can't help but feel a chill. Excellent. Take my signet ring and show it to the guards by the tower up to the north. After that, the rest is up to you. Satisfied that she has what she wants from you, Zesvir, the Zesir, sorry, uh, dismisses you with a simple wave of her hand. I guess we're going to go be an assassin today. I'm cool with that. It's all good. House Mavir, I'm guessing, is the tower in question. Hi, guards. What do you want? The guard is standing at attention as you approach. He barely acknowledges you as he says, Major Maroon is not accepting visitors. Zesir is said to show you this ring. The guard suddenly seems very nervous. Does Zesir give you that? She's ready to move now? He glances from side to side, trying to see if anyone's watching. Some of the guards inside are still loyal to Major Maroon. Others are wavering between her and Zesir. Those ones won't fight you, but they won't help you either. Go inside. We'll summon the matron. If you act quickly, you can probably kill her and Captain Tebimar before they realize what is going on. The matron Myrun gives you a scornful glance, then turns to the drow beside her. Where is she? Oh, there she is. Okay. Who is this male Tebimar? Why did your guards let him in? I'm not sure, matron mother. Allow me to find out for you. The captain turns towards me. Who are you? How did a human male like you get past the guards outside? Zasir sent me to kill you. House Mavier guards. You think generic guards are going to stop me? That captain might though, he's hitting pretty hard. Like really hard. Holy crap, I just will kill them. Oh, he's almost killed me though. No! Oh, we were so close. That's not cool. Alright, here we go again. Oh, wait. That's not good. What? Oh. Okay, we're gonna burn past. I'll do the uh, merchant stuff later. Oops. Didn't mean to hit that button. That's super annoying. I should have saved before going in there. I thought I did. Okay. <sighs> I'll do merchants and vegan videos. Blah, 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 blah. Wants in this for me. Blah, blah, blah. What do I have to do? Blah, blah. 20, that okay? Yep. Good. Gone. Okay. Let's, uh, s I thought we were going to just win, so I should have saved. That was stupid of me. That's okay. We'll go do our shopping in a moment. After we kill this person, yes, go away. I don't care about that right now. What are you? Da, da, da. You know what? <laughs> oh, okay, this is going poorly. We uh, we failed spectacularly at our flurry of blows ambush.
There we go. I'll save right here. Yeah, actually killing the captain first is a great idea. He hits the hardest by far. What the hell? Oh, there we go. We killed them both. The other one ran away. That was easy. Goodbye, mother. Hey, I could have looted her. That's not cool. Quickly secure the tower. Remove the rest of the trash that has been following my mother. Sister turns her attention to you. Well done, Eltimar. You have my thanks, and the thanks of all House Mavir. My guards will see you are given the payment we had agreed on. I want more. More? You have a strange way of bargaining, Eltimar. The deed is done now. Why should I give you more? You know how useful I can be. She nods her head. You have proven yourself, and I may need your help in the future. I suppose it would be wise to foster some goodwill. Very well, you can have the weapon of... Tibimar, my mother's personal guard, as an extra reward. It is quite a powerful weapon, with magical properties. I trust this will suffice. There is still much to do to secure my position as the new matron mother. The guards will show you out now. But I wasn't... I wanted to loot the body. You guys suck at letting me loot things. What's this thing? Oh, I can't actually see. Okay. Do -do -do. Try to see... To check your inventory. Let's go see what this site is. I can't identify it. It is enchantment plus five. Oh, it's keen. Oh, you know who would have been awesome right now, this very second? This would be the moment. Our other character, our scythe weapon master. A keen weapon plus five with massive criticals. He would be hitting like high hundreds in damage. Oh. Oh, no. It hurts me physically now. That's not cool, guys. That's not... That's not okay. <sighs> the disappointment is real. There's some serious disappointment right now. Oh man. Oh, well, we got a whole bunch of experience anyways. We are, like, 12,000 from a level. It's not so bad. Uh, what else do we have to do? Oh, we haven't actually talked to any of those other people. Let's go burn through those conversations quickly. I'm not going to read them out. I'm just going to do them really fast so we know what we're supposed to do. Uh, Is you there something else you need? Tell me about lithids, such creatures, and some melts, beholders. How's one fight against them? It's possible to negotiate. How's one fight a beholder? Blah, blah, blah. Uh, something else. How about the undead? Where are they? Such creatures be slaughtered. And something else, devil, blah, blah, blah. That's all I wanted to know. Okay, there we go. I should go. And How you, can I you? new information. Name is fine. We're gonna find this boatman. I'll be going now. Okay, good. We got the boatman and we got everything else set up. All right, let's go do some stuff. Let's go do some things. Commander Imloth, let's talk to you. Commander Imloth, at your service. Oh, Imloth, yeah. sorry. This guard commander, or drow commander, gives you a brisk salute. Commander Imloth at your Is service. Is anything you need? I'm pretty busy training my troops, but I can spare a few moments if it'll help you against the Valshares and her followers. No, I'm good. I'll be going now. Somebody else already told me all about that. Where's the boatman? If I were a boatman, where would I be? Probably the docks. It's a very small dock. There's Cavallus. Welcome. You look super creepy. I don't know if I trust you. The figure before you is completely covered by a heavy robe. You try to peer into the shadows of their hood, but are unable to pierce the blackness. It speaks to you in a gurgling hiss. I am Cavallus of the Dark River. I alone can navigate its treacherous currents. All others will be swept away or dragged down beneath its murky depths. You are super creepy. I've been waiting for you. You've been waiting for me? I hear the dark river's voice. It whispers secrets like the dying gurgles of a drowning man. I know why you have come. You seek to... I can't do his voice like that. You seek to destroy the Valshares. Her death is your release. I can help you with this. I know the secrets of the islands. The dark river whispers them to me when I glide across her waters. Why are you helping me? 
The soul of the Valshress is black and cold. She hungers to conquer. She yearns to rule every inch of corner of the Underdark. Now I've gone Batman. Even in the wild currents of the Dark River. There we go. Her power is, her power is growing. And soon she will be able to enslave the Dark River itself. Bending its untamed waters to her whims and will. That cannot happen. That is why I will take you to the islands. I'll be going now. I'll do that later. I'm going to actually end the video here. We're 25 minutes. I'm going to do the shopping stuff I had did bef or done before and failed at saving after. So, in the next video, we're going to go head out to the islands, do some stuff, get some things done. We also have to go to the west at some point into the tunnels. Um, and yeah, go from there. Figure out what we're going to do. So, like always, if you have any suggestions or comments, please leave them below. Otherwise, I'll see you guys next time.